Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. I am Mahfuzur Rahman, lecturer ICT department of Milestone College. I hope you all are fine and safe with your family at your home and obviously you all time maintain safety hygiene and pros and cons what we have to follow when we go outside and staying at home. Please wash your hands randomly after using any kinds of substances or any kind of work and before work and after meal and before meal you must have don't forget to wash your hands properly and please at least say one time for alhamdulillah to allah because you and your family and we are all the milestone college family we are safe at this time and we are maintaining our regular study and our all other works so today I'm going to talking about a very interesting topic from chapter 4. Yeah, it's table. Table means what? Table means it's a combination of rows and columns. Like I want to show you what is rows and columns. So this is, it's a table. I'm going to draw this one row, first row, second row, first column, second column, and this one is the third one. So, serial, one, two, name, like X, Y, and code, 1201, 1202. So, this one is called row, and this one is called column of a table. So, Today, I'm going to tell you some basic things about the table. So if this row, for row, we have a tag for starting tag with tier, start and close, that means table row. And for column, we have two options, like number one, it's TD, start and close, and TH start and close so TD it means table data or table dates you can say and TH it called table header that means this sort of thing this row why it's called in a bold like you can easily measure so it's a header of a table then you must have to use this TH and if this one, it's like simple test word, like this one, x, 1201, this sort of things, then you have to use TD. So now I come to the topic like row span and comb span. If we see a, like a table, like an example in our question paper, like this row is vanished, just vanished at our question paper then this one will be what row span because you see two rows second rows and third rows these two rows are just together this one we can say row span if this sort of two rows are connected together like a this one it captures the two row together in a one place then this one is called row span and if the same thing happens in the other column the multiple columns attached together like this one this one multiple columns and us together like milestone I gonna write that these two columns columns number two and columns number three these two columns are attached together then this one we can say call span so when we use this sort of things at our 
answer script you must have to be very careful to mark it as this dot dot line so that you can measure how many columns it captures together you see i can clearly mention two columns if this one captures together two columns that means this one call span and here two rows it captures together and this one is call span it's a very basic i show you at the at the whiteboard now i take you to my laptop screen okay welcome you all to my laptop screen so you see already at my screen i am already show you an tables output so uh, today i am going to create a table the output look like this you see milestone college it's, all, it's already took two column it's at row at call span position and this one group it's already take uh, three rows at a time so that we can say it, this one is row span so now i'm going to show you how i'm going to create this table at my laptop so please watch it carefully so that you can understand how this row span and call span gonna work at practically at, at our uh, daily life screen at html so at first i have to start html the beginning part of an html then i have to start a head at the head i have to start title and the title just we have to mention the website name test web i'm gonna just practically show this one title now the head option will be close this one the closing tag for head so head start and heads head close now now i'm going to start a body part of my html table then i i will start a table tag for starting the table so border equals to uh, one the better by default value then the width of a table i will make it uh, hundred percent you can say so that table will look like exactly the output i show you at beginning so now i will start the first row tr then i will start td no this one will be th so you see this milestone college option is one i just placed at the center and the position and this one is marked as a bold so you have to use th here so th i have to mention the call span so it took two columns so call span equals to two will be the value and you have to write milestone college so that out i show the output it's milestone college so i write milestone college here you must have to follow the same guidelines when you are answering the question paper at your exam time just follow the question paper and write down the code at your copies exactly according to your questions paper instruction so this one the first row now i'm going to start second row i have four rows in, in my example table and this uh, second row you see what you have second row this group is already attached by three rows so i have to call row span here so this one td row span equals to three so because it takes three rows at a time and the, the text what we have here in my output this one group this one td to be close then again i have to start td because and i'm going to say the next column what we have science td science td close tr will be closed tr tag will be closed because i'm just finishing my second row now again i start my third row tr td this one already the third row what i have business studies so i wrote down here b dot studies then i will close td then i will close tr also my third row will finish now i will start my last row tr then td and this td will contain which word humanities okay my humanities td 
I am just finishing my last row. The table tag, what I start earlier. And my body tag, what I start earlier. And the HTML tag, what I start at the very beginning. You see the all tags. This one, the second row. Second row tables property this one last row okay you see so now I'm going to just show you the outputs of the table just I'm going to reload my tags and tables uh, and the HTML browser you see no change so the code is just perfect as we see at my notepad thank you all again I hope you understand the coding what I show you at my laptop screen thank you I hope you understand my today's videos and lectures. If you have any confusion or question, please do it at our WhatsApp group and you can feel free to comment at my videos comment section. Again and again I want to tell you a simple thing. Please stay at home for your and your family safety. Allah Hafiz. This is Mahfuz Rahman from Milestone College ICT Department.